you can test the outside mirror switch for the outside mirrors from left to right passenger to driver so the first thing is is we always want to is check our grounds and our powers to our modules just to make sure that they're working so your grounds here your powers here now you need to switch your leads from your if you have a Zeus you have to go to three and four other than that, if you have a voltmeter, you just got to use ohm. So at this time, disconnect your module and just go into the back of the module pins. It makes it a lot easier for you to test it. So when we do this, we are at our ground and say we go to our driver's side. Now, this is going to be a different resistance from the passenger side. So the computer will know if it's drivers or if it's passengers. So when we go to the drivers, it's gonna come back around. It's gonna go through your pin five on this one, and then it's gonna end up being right here at your pin seven. So when you hit your drivers, you're gonna have resistance go one way. Then when you hit your passenger side, it's gonna come up same routine, but it's just a different resistance. So when you see that, you know that that part works. You can look on your scanner to see if it actually sees it from drivers to passenger to know. Now, if you're going to check your up and down switches, it will be different. So we'll go, say, if you're going up, it's going to go to here. It's going to go to your blue with dark blue with white and then come down to your pin 16 on this one. So every time you hit the switch, the resistance should change. If your resistance changed, then you know that the switch is good. Now, a little bit on the motor side, when you go up and down and left and right, these two here will change from negative to positive, positive to negative, depending on the motor, you're, which way the motor is going. This part here is a 5-volt source. And a 5-volt source goes in and out. And as you can see, these resistance will change, which will, will change the voltage on these two. And then, of course, you have to have ground to make the circuit complete. That's basically how this mirror works. So if the switch is good, you'll have your resistance change. Then you have your negative and positive going to your motors. You can just check the voltage there, check your voltage to the 5 volt and make sure that these change. So it's a very simple process. It will save you a lot of time. So I hope this helps. I have a video now how we check the switch. And then enjoy this video. It's a real quick one. And we will talk to you guys later. So on this schematic, you see where I just separated everything from the mirror switch to the module, so I have less wires to check. Just try to keep it simple, and this way you can diagnose it properly. So on the mirror, this one is going through the memory seat module, so you have to test it at the memory seat module. So now remember I said is you got to separate your circuits and then just check one wire at a time. If you know what the voltage should be or what it should do, it makes it a lot simpler. So now I'm switching the mirror from driver side to passenger side. And you can see the mirror says select switch is not commanding. So now we have to check the switch. And then this is the one way that I would check the switch using ohm. So use your three and four trace. And I use graphics, but you can just use a regular voltmeter. Just set it to wherever you want, 400 ohms, 4 mega ohms, because you're just going to click on the switch, and you can see that I have it set. And then now I'm going to go to the left position switch, and then I'm going to go to the right position switch. Now remember, they're going to be two different ohms, because it has to know whether it's left side or right side so this is what makes the difference in ohms so that was the left side now i'm going to go to the right side and you can see where the difference in ohms is so it knows where to go which mirror is being looked at and which one should be commanding and you can still see that the mirror select switch is not commanding so you know that this switch part on this is good but so now we're going to go test the up and down, left and right switch.
Now I am gonna, you can set your ohms to whatever you want, put it on auto, it would be fine. It doesn't really matter, that's why I'm going through this, is when you hit your switch, your resistance is gonna change. So the, basically what I'm saying is, if the resistance changing, then you know the switch is working. If the resistance doesn't change, then you know the switch is bad. So as we were going through this, we're gonna hit the up switch, down switch, left switch, and right switch. So when I went to the up switch, you can see the resistance change. Now when I go to the down switch, you're gonna see a different resistance, but it's very little bit of a different resistance. And this is how the computer knows which way to go. Either I gotta go up, or I gotta go down, or I gotta go left, or I gotta go right, right. So if you see this working, then you know the switch is good, but you don't see it on the module side, so you condemn the module. I wanna thank you for watching this YouTube. Please hit the like button and subscribe, and hit the bell for notification. Thanks.